This week on Wildcat News, we learn more about the new superintendent. We meet some of the new coaches. And we talk with a student who was provided with a unique opportunity. All these stories and more coming up because Wildcat News starts now. Good morning, West Johnson, and welcome back to another season of Wildcat News. I'm Katherine Green. And I'm Allison Wade. Last week, Johnson County Schools named a new superintendent. Miranda Bean reports. Last Tuesday marked the beginning of Dr. Jim Cosby's start as Johnson County's interim superintendent after former superintendent Ross Renfro suddenly retired after a closed door meeting. Cosby was the superintendent for Johnson County Schools for 10 years and has experience as a superintendent in six different school districts, along with previously being a teacher, coach, and principal. Cosby recently spoke with Joko Report about his return to Johnston County Schools. I have very high expectations for students because I know how highly they can achieve when everyone works together to make it happen. It is my promise to them that I will expect great things from them and I will be their strong advocate. I have experienced about every type of situation that you can find as a school superintendent over 30 years in that role. I have gained trust and respect in every situation. If you treat people right and make decisions that are best for students, most people will trust you. I will work hard to gain the trust of those who do not yet know me. Johnson County Schools is blessed with beautiful and talented students, outstanding school system employees, caring and loving parents, and a community that highly values good education. Efforts during my time here will be directed towards bringing all those things together to focus on what is best for students. Principal Jennifer Schwartz shares how she thinks the change in leadership will affect schools. The superintendent sets the tone for our entire district. West Johnston may not see as many changes because I think that we have continued to build programs that are supportive of students at every level, but I think that we're also a school that has continued to look for ways that we can bring more advanced placement courses and try and bring rigor to our student body. So I'm really looking forward to Dr. Cosby's leadership and him. I'm looking forward to what he is going to see when he comes back to Johnston County since he's been here before. I'm Miranda Bean, Wildcat News. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will have Fall Picture Day next Monday and Tuesday. Senior portrait makeups will be rescheduled for a later date. New faces have joined the athletics department this year for a fall kickoff. This school year, the athletic division kicked off the season with new faces down on the fields. The football team has three new coaches, Jermaine Harper, who is the head coach, and two assistant coaches, Casey McDaniel and Anthony Payton. Coach McDaniel talks about what he's looking forward to this season. You know, my work ethic, um, I try to make sure that I bring my positive attitude, let the kids know that I'm there for them, because most importantly, it's for the kids. Um, so I try to bring that with me. Uh, everywhere I've gone, it's been all work no play, you know. I mean, of course we play later, but we got to work first and understand what's going on with the system uh, that Coach Harper's brought in once again, like I said earlier. Uh, but most importantly, we just got to work, uh, put ourselves in position, get the kids focused, you know, and, put, and see what we can do for Friday nights. You know, we're looking for the W. Old memories in a familiar setting is what pulled McDaniel to come coach in North Carolina. So uh, I'm familiar with North Carolina and uh, my wife and I, we both just decided to you know, come to uh, move out of the state and try to try another state. And I feel like football in North Carolina and then just teaching in general, it's not too much different from what I've seen and experienced so far. Uh, but at the same time, like, I feel like it could be uh, better and i like to contribute to that if I could. Work then play is an important rule the new cheerleading coach Barrett Wall is teaching her athletes. All the girls know right now I am super strict and because I want them to look good. I want them to deserve the respect and I want them to earn the respect because in the past it's hard to earn the respect of everyone so right now that's what I'm trying to teach them is self-respect for one and then to show everyone that they're there for a reason and that cheer is important. Coach Wall was a student at West and decided to come back to teach and coach at the school. I had a lot of offers and so I chose West because this is home and this is where everybody that I've grown up with goes and has gone through and then all the teachers that are here they either taught me or were here when I was here so that's nice and everyone's super welcoming so when I came in for my interview Plisco he's the one who sold me on West so <laughs> go Plisco 
But yeah, that's why it's home. Show some school spirit and come out to support your fall athletes. I'm Allison Wade, Wildcat News. Thanks, Allison. Now let's head over to the rundown. Seniors, head down to the football field this Friday for the new annual Senior Sunrise event at 6 a.m. One student athlete was provided with a special opportunity this summer. Katherine Green reports. This summer, junior Tasha Brzezowski signed with the University of Maryland on a full-ride scholarship for gymnastics. She's been participating in gymnastics since she was younger and explains why she chose to commit to Maryland. This past summer I went to a camp, it was a gymnastics camp, and we also got to tour the school and I really fell in love with it. I got to know the co coaches a little bit more and while I was there they offered me and I feel like it was a really great opportunity. Brzezowski shares why she chose to commit so early. So as a junior, yes it is um, a bit early for me committing, but in the gymnastics world a junior is not that early um, because recruiting starts about in the eighth grade and coaches start looking at you they come to your meets and if they are interested in you they will contact you and Marilyn contact me and I was really interested in their school and their education. Brzezowski reflects on her decision. Committing to Maryland is um, a great opportunity and I can't wait to be there after I graduate high school. I'm Katherine Green, Wildcat News. Thanks, Catherine. Well, that's all for us this week. If you have any comments, questions, or story leads, email us at wjstudentmedia at gmail.com or send us a tweet at wjstudentmedia. And if you want to watch Wildcat News at home, on the go, or catch up on past episodes, go to wjstudentmedia.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Catherine Green. And I'm Allison Wade. Thanks for watching and have a great week.